Members of the Vine City community on Atlanta's west side are hoping to save a piece of history from being demolished. Some residents tell us they were furious when they found out the childhood home of former Mayor Maynard Jackson will soon be torn down. Nick Sturdivant spoke with community members about their concerns and explains why the city says the house has to be demolished. Sunset Avenue in the Vine City neighborhood in Atlanta has a lot of history. Sunset Avenue at one time was called and considered uh, the richest black street in America. History that John H. Lewis, chairman of the Vine City Civic Association and resident here, is passionate about. While he says his focus is on the entire neighborhood, recently he says his attention has been locked in on this home, the home Maynard Jackson Sr. once owned, the father of Maynard Jackson Jr., Atlanta's first black mayor. I can remember very vividly uh, that house and uh, being lived in and being by the by the Jackson family. He says he remembers a young Maynard Jackson Jr. living in the home that is now from the outside, boarded up and in need of some TLC. Lewis says recently he got word from a neighbor that the home will be demolished and found this permit. I'm looking at uh, our, our history being wiped out. The permit shows that the Martin Luther King Jr. Center owns the property. Beside the Jackson home is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s home he lived in for much of the 1960s. The National Park Service purchased it in January. Lewis and others we spoke with say they don't want Jackson's home to come down. However, New District 3 City Councilman Antonio Brown told me over the phone that the home is in very bad condition, too bad to say, and copper has been stolen from it. He says the home doesn't even meet criteria to be historically preserved because he says Maynard Jackson Sr. only owned it from 1950 to 1951, something Lewis says isn't true. This is my home and this is my story and I know the story because we had to learn the stories and the, the elders shared the stories with us. I spoke with Maynard Jackson's family and they say they fully support the King Center and tell me that the King family and Jackson family have been friends for years. The community wants to preserve its history. Now, Lewis and others in the community tell us they plan to confront the city council Monday afternoon about the demolition, and they'll also be holding a community meeting on Monday evening. Now, we did reach out to the King Center to get their comment, but we have not heard back.